how can the temples do this? You know, traditionally the temple was not just for bhakti, but also for seva, karma, also for raj yoga, meditation, also for learning, Saraswati temple, learning, discussion, discourse, debate. So, uh, I think it was important to first build the foundation, get prop, uh, which has been built, hundreds of temples are there. And now I think we have to always ask, why aren't the young people here? They are only here till the young age when the kids drag, their parents drag them. But when they re- leave home and they have to make their own choice, they are not coming. Why? Does that mean that we, we, the temples are one generation only for the people who came from India and that they will be gone? Because then it is not sustainable. I feel that the component of learning, the component of understanding the world through Hindu eyes, the component of being able to answer back about our history, about what it means, what are the frequently asked questions, what are, how to answer them, what are the frequent misunderstandings, how to answer them, how to speak properly and pr- 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 proudly as a Hindu on contemporary issues, training all this workshop for this and uh, making Hindus more aware about uh, current issues is very important part of uh, what a mandir should do. And so, uh, I am happy to say that some mandirs are beginning to do that. I, have been, I, I just came back last weekend from Toronto. There were six temples that hosted me, some of the very big temples. And some of them called me for a second time because I was there a while back also. Uh, and I am very happy to say some organizations like Chinmaya Mission, every town I go to, they want me. We had a great event in Washington, we had a great event in Toronto, now we will have in other places. So gradually I think mandirs are beginning to become more confident as we as Indians become more confident. Uh, we have political clout in the community. Uh, we realize that in America you don't have to be afraid of your religion. You don't have to say I am secular, you can say I am Hindu. Uh, you can say I am Christian. This is, this is a land which says everybody has the right to have their religion. Especially one that respects others, that believes in pluralism, that believes in mutual respect, has no reason to be ashamed, has no reason to hide behind your secular. You can call this a Hindu establishment, I, I you know, you can, you can uh, file for a, 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 a religious organization and call it a Hindu organization. You can even uh, say this is for worship of this particular deity, you can do that specific also. Just like you can be a particular branch of Protestant religion, nothing wrong with that. Any faith, there is, there is uh, pagan worshippers who, be, who believe in worshipping something very specific, absolutely allowed in this country. You have no reason to feel that you are less American because you are Hindu. No reason to fear that. Way. So we need to understand our laws better in, this, in the United States and be able to use them. We need to have more confidence and it is up to the temples as leaders of our civilization and our society in this country to organize, you know, for intellectual leaders, not just a one hour, two hour talk, but like a workshop, a real indoctrination workshop. I'm happy to come and give you long PowerPoints on very detailed issues. This is our position, this is our position, when we have more time. And then train teachers who can then teach it further. I'm happy to do that.